Hello friends, today let's solve 24 game. You have 4 cards, each containing a number from 1 to 9. You need to judge whether they could operate it through times, divide, plus, minus, and the parentheses to get the value of 24. But actually, we do not need to consider the parentheses. The goal of use parentheses is just uh, to calculate uh, two elements first. What does that mean? Actually, this problem is just uh, like uh, you pick two elements from these four numbers and uh, you do some arithmetic uh, calculation and uh, you get a result. And uh, now you have three numbers. And in these three numbers, you pick uh, two numbers and uh, do the arithmetic uh, calculation and you get a result then you have two numbers and uh, until in the last uh, you only have one element uh, you check whether it equals to 24 in this example we can first uh, pick the 4 and uh, 8 and 4 and uh, we use 8 to minus 4 so we get 4 so current Currently, you have th uh, three numbers, which is four and uh, one seven, and then we choose two elements. We choose seven and one, right? And uh, we use seven minus one, so now we have two elements, which is four and uh, six. So now we have two elements, and uh, we use two. Uh, we use four times six, so we get a twenty-four. So we return two. And in this problem, we just needed to find the one super, uh, one way to get the twenty-four. So once we get the twenty-four, we just return true. Uh, let's see. Actually, we just needed to try all the possible combinations in any two elements. So we first pick the four and the one, and we first try the plus. Then we get uh, 5, 5, 8, 7, and uh, then we try 5 plus 8, and uh, we get 13. And then we we have two elements, and we try plus again, and now we have 20, and this is the only element uh, left. But 20 is not equal to 24, so this is uh, no way to get a 24. So we backtrack. That means this this place we do not we cannot use plus. Then we can try other arithmetic. We can try the we use thirteen to minus seven. Actually, we can also use seven to minus thirteen. Then we use thirteen times seven, and we use thirteen to divide seven. And we we find that we can get. We cannot get a 24, so we backtrack again. That means this place we cannot use plus, so we try other ways, which is minus times divide. And we use the new element uh, to do the to try all the arithmetic uh, with this 7 to see whether we can get 24. As there is divide, so we we better use a double type. So we use a double array. And when there is only one element left, we check whether the abstract value with this element and the 24 is as small as possible. So we can use the mass abstract value in uh, this way. We use this to minus 24. And if it's less than 0 0.001, we can we can get that uh, this is 24. So this algorithm is uh, straightforward. We just uh, simply try all the possible combinations. And once the only element left is equal to 24, we return true. Uh, so we can use a list. And every time we generate uh, a new list, but uh, if we use array is much faster so we use array okay so we first uh, change these numbers to a double array 
then we call it A, and the new double, and then we parse number zero. Numbers one, the numbers two, the numbers three. Oh, sorry, this number three. Then we call a help function. We pass this A. Private double help. Oh, sorry, this is not double. This is boolean. And we pass a double array. That is A. So as I said before, once the length is one, we only have one element left. We check whether the abstract uh, value a0 minus 24 is as less as possible, as small as possible. You can write uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. I think this is already enough. Otherwise, we try to pick uh, two elements any two element start from zero i less than a dot length i plus plus the four j equal to i plus one j less than a dot length j plus plus so now we need uh, another double array y because now we pick two elements then there should uh, only have three elements left right because we pick these two elements we do a arithmetic uh, calculation then we get one element so plus these two element we only have three element so this we call it uh, b new double so the size will be a dot length minus one uh first thing first we need to let the rest of the array we copy the rest of the array to the b array so in this example, if we pick 4 and 1, we should uh, copy the 8 and 7 to the new array because we need to calculate uh, this 4 and 1. So start from 0. We also need the index start from 0. And the k less than a dot length and uh, k plus plus. Only when the k is not equal to i and the k not equal to j, we let the b index plus plus equal to a k. Only when it's not equal to the i and j, we append that to the array b. And now you can see the last element in the b should uh, be the result of the previous two elements calculation result. So in this case, this is the uh, result of the arithmetic uh, calculation of the 4 and 1, right? So then we try all the possibilities. So for the D in the compute, A, I, A, J, we let uh, the last element be this result. So B dot length minus 1 equal to D. And uh, this is just a uh, if we find the uh, one way, we just uh, return true, right? If we find the help uh, b equal to true, we just uh, return true. Uh, in uh, here, do not forget to return false. So now we als only need to return a double array. This is a compute. And we pass double x and double y. We just try all the possibilities of these two elements arithmetic calculation. It's just x plus y, x minus y, y minus x, x times y, and uh, x divide y, and y divide x. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.